Death of Me by City and Color is going to be played in standard tuning and is going to begin on an E minor chord. I've got my second finger on the five string two fret, my ring finger on the four string two fret. Uh, all the other strings are left open. And you're going to be strumming across that E minor. Let me first just talk about this rhythm real quick. So that's happening across pretty much the entire song. I'm going down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 So that's happening pretty much over every chord. So E minor. The second chord is going to move to a G chord. So you've got E minor. Moving to the G, you will reach out and grab the sixth string um, second fret with your ring finger, and then immediately pull it up to the sixth string three fret with your ring finger. E minor. So it's a. Uh, 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 F sharp G, E minor, E minor, F sharp, or E minor, E minor, F sharp G. Inside of this G chord, you can then hear the guitarist put his first finger down on the second string two fret, while his pinky finger is getting pulled back to the one string three fret. So imagine starting the G with your first finger not on the second string and then putting your first finger down on the second string one fret. So we've got the E minor to the G. That was me putting my first finger down on the second string first fret. Then we're gonna to go to a C chord. So for the C chord, your ring finger is gonna be on the six string three fret, your pinky finger is gonna be on the five string three fret, your second finger is gonna be on the four string two fret, open three string, first finger on the two string one fret, open one string, so just standard uh, C chord. And then it's gonna walk down to a B note. So you'll pick up your ring and pinky fingers and move your second finger down to the two string, uh, You'll move your second finger down to the five string two fret um, while leaving your first finger still planted where it's been since the G chord on the two string one fret. And you're strumming from the five string down. Everything not fretted can be left open. So it's a bit of a passing chord. And then it comes up to a D chord that is shaped like our C. So take your C shape and just slide it up two frets so that your ring and pinky fingers are on the uh, fifth fret of strings six and five. Your second finger is on the fourth fret of string four. You've got an open three string and your first finger is on the uh, five, no, your first finger is on the three fret of string two. And that is the verse uh, or the first round of the intro chords. C, walk down to the B note, up to the D chord. Now the second time whenever it goes to the E minor, you can hear the guitarist go. Before going up into the G. So the way that you'll do that is on the E minor, you'll put your, after strumming just a standard E minor uh, from earlier, you'll put your second finger down on the two string three fret, and then you'll uh, put your first finger down on the two string one fret and lift up your pinky. So in the E minor we're going, but in like the fullness of the chord. So E minor, pinky, first. E minor, pinky, first finger. And that's uh, second string three fret to second string one fret. And also that's happening on up strums. Listen to it slowly. Up, up. Up, up. And then from 
from there, it's going to be, again, back up to the G with your first finger falling on the two string one fret inside of that G chord, moving to the C chord. And then it goes back down to the G, back down to the B chord, or not B chord. Out of that C, it falls back down to the B note, which is our passing chord. And then it does something different right here. Instead of going up to the D, it walks back down to the E minor by going G, F sharp, E minor. And that's moving with your ring finger to the sixth string uh, three fret, second finger to the sixth string two fret, and then your E minor chord. And whenever you're moving with your ring and second fingers, you can lift all your other fingers off the guitar whenever you're walking back to the E minor because you can hear those open like four, three, two, and one strings ringing behind that walk down. All right, and so whenever you get into the lyrics, it just does that same thing over and over. I think that it, um, in the lyric part, it doesn't do the doesn't do that part in the E minor again where it goes with your pinky finger to the two string three fret to the two string one fret and then also in the lyrics and verse and chorus it doesn't always jump back up to the D chord after the passing B chord like in the intro it goes E minor G C passing B note up to a D the first time um, it the second time it walks back down to the E minor the first round of lyrics, it does go up to this D chord that's shaped like a C, but every other time it does not. It just walks down into the E minor, like, like this. Walk down. That feel like every time after that. All right, next thing to know uh, is the bridge. The bridge will be a C chord to a D chord. And these are the same chords as before. So four-fingered C chord originating on the third frets of string six and five. Pull that up two frets so that we've got our D chord that is shaped like a C chord. So C to a D and then up to an E minor. The way this E minor gets played is you're actually going to continue moving up the neck. You're going to slide your pinky finger up two frets from where it was on the D chord so that now your pinky finger is on the five string seven fret and you'll put your first finger on the four string five fret and everything else can ring open. Then it walks back down to the C by going after the E minor minor, D, back down to that C-shaped D chord, and then back down to the C. So C, up to the D, up to the E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, D, C. Repeats, back up to the E minor, E minor, and it does that for a couple times. And then the last uh, round of the bridge just holds that uh, E minor. And then hits one C chord and lets it ring, then hits one D chord, lets it ring, and then goes back to the E minor. Like a standard E minor on second frets of strings five and four, everything else open, and doing that droning rhythm, and then it goes back into the verse round again. So those are the chords and the movements to the Death of Me by City and Color. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.